studying medical neuroscience. Please welcome to the stage, Puyan Maradi. Hi. There are about 27 million new cases of head injuries happening every year around the world. Falls, car accidents, and sport injuries are one of the most common causes of head injuries that are generally termed as concussions. The good news is most of the people will heal after a concussion and will be fine. The bad news is some of the patients will go on and develop long-term problems, including cognitive impairment and epilepsy, months to years after the injury. Sadly, there is no accurate way to say which patients will go on and develop these symptoms. Now, I want you to imagine our brain as a cloudy sky after the injury, all dark and gloomy and sad, and sometimes it rains. Now, I want you to picture a big thunderstorm coming after, all loud and dark and horrific. Think of those big lightning bolts as seizures. Pretty scary, right? How do we predict a storm? Well, we can check the sky, see the rainy weather, and make a guess. But we are not 100% sure most of the times, are we? Predicting epilepsy is just like predicting a storm. Sometimes patients develop seizures without having any prior warning. That's where my research comes in. In my thesis, I use the rodent model to study the long-term effects of concussions. I use artificial intelligence to detect seizures in epileptic animals. Now, let's bring back the weather story one more time. An experienced weather forecaster can tell if a storm is coming based on cloud formation, storm patterns, and using weather radars. Our research has the same idea. Sort of like predicting the brain's weather, but based on brain activity. In my work, I'm showing that there are subtle changes in brain's electrical activity that can tell which animals are going to be epileptic months before developing seizures. This was similar to what we have found in humans using EEG. EEG is a fast and non-invasive technology that is commonly used to, detect the, uh, to record the human's brain activity. Now, the implication of this finding is really exciting. Using a small and portable EEG machine, we can apply this method in any clinical setting, especially in underdeveloped countries where equipment is limited. We do not need to wait for the symptoms to show up, and we can actually intervene and prevent the long-term outcomes. Our mission is clear to detect epilepsy earlier and more accurate and prevent the catastrophic consequences in patients. And remember, after each storm, there is a sunshine. Thank you.